Yosh, I'm Roman and here I am with my mom again and today she'll be sharing uh, a childhood story of her choice. It could be scary, just a childhood story that she, she learned when she was younger. Because when I was younger, she'd tell us things about like dopey under the bed or the cotton tree, the cotton tree something them. And <laughs> so you could tell us one, a childhood story that you still remember you think is interesting. Okay. Normally I would tell my kids about um, dopey stories because you hear about rolling cars. My grandfather was a butcher. My dad also, my uncle, it's a, like a family thing. So we would be scared on a Friday when the, we didn't want to kill the cows and the pigs. So you would hear that rolling calf coming in the night. I would tell my kids that they would be scared. I would tell them, look at the nigga baby, see the, the rolling calf. But for real, Duppy was real in that. Those <laughs> so uh, did you have any experience with Duppy? I remember one time I would have to stay in the house and literally I see a big guy Duppy and then he's <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and I'm saying it to my mom, and I, I couldn't say nothing. I keep touching her to show her the thing underneath the bed, but the something keep looking at me. <laughs> keep looking at me, and then after a while, I could say to her, say, I see something underneath the bed. And she says, Step on my foot box. Step on my foot box. Step on my foot box. You're stepping on your heel. But afterwards, mom, she would say to me, say, That was our grandmother. Come to visit the child. I'm saying, Why? why you're dead, and you're not come visit a child. And I say, Back then, when people dead, them spirit not gone nowhere to wander. Okay. Yeah, so I'll tell my kids and they'll be very afraid. Like Romain now, good afraid of the curtain there. <laughs> no. Anyways, that's it. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's it. I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.